sound you hear is brood X of cicadas up in the trees. been quite a while since I've heard that. I think the last time I can remember is 1998 in Tennessee. Unmistakable sound after you know what it is. Another opportunity to hear those cicadas up in the trees. When you first step out of the car it almost sounds like someone's burglar alarm has gone off. But it's just thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of cicadas up in the trees. There's a lot of species of cicadas actually. The ones that we're most familiar with are those big green ones that show up every year and appropriately enough are called the annual cicadas. But there's a, there are many species of them that come out every certain number of years. I mean the one most common of which is or most commonly known is the 17 year cicada. But there's some that come out in 12 years, I think 14 years, maybe 8 or 9 years. Uh, these are usually much smaller than the annual cicadas. They usually have a lot of red on them, um, particularly their eyes and, and their wings. And uh, they come out in much, much greater numbers, which is why we're hearing what we're hearing here. Um, they spend, of course, their whole life underground as, as uh, larvae, essentially feeding on roots and such and then when they come out uh, the larvae climb up the trees um, where the adults molt out of them very similar to dragonflies damselflies they do not eat the adults um, so they're only around for a little while uh, they're around long enough to mate and to lay eggs um, and die and the eggs when they hatch the young fall to the ground and burrow into the dirt and where they live for the next dozen or more years before they come back out. The farther you get away from the stream, the louder they get because the stream was drowning out some of it. Just amazing. I think they can get quite a bit louder than this. I remember some days in Tennessee all those years ago that it was almost deafening. These are some really cool bugs. Obviously important fish food and other critters. I mean, there's no way a protein source like this comes out of the ground in these numbers and there's not a lot of things lining up to take advantage of it. I would imagine from what I've seen on the internet, there's a whole lot of fly anglers who have been tying up cicada flies like madmen. And I'm sure that's what they plan to use, especially when these things start dying and start flopping into the water. Pretty cool thing. Nature is so interesting, isn't it?